Hello, so I just want to walk you guys through this um, portfolio that I submitted for Seneca in 2014. And this first drawing is my life drawing. It's 15 minutes. 2B Conte, I believe, that I used. And um, I went to APW, also known as Animation Portfolio Workshop. They are located in Toronto. And I highly, highly recommend them because they teach you the fundamentals of drawing. So there's three processes that go on in this drawing. The first process is gesture drawing which is feeling out the body and you can see that it translates as little scribbles, little light scribbles here and there. The second process is blocking it out. For example, the leg is a cylinder. Third process is uh, feeling out the form, so putting in those little details, those little g contours, but um, the feet, for example, the toes are not there, and the face is not there because um, those are little details that I can add if I have more time, uh, which I didn't, and most of the time I don't uh, put in those details. So um, most importantly, just look for the pelvis, the direction of the pelvis, landmarks, um, also torso, and the big shapes like the legs. So those are the most important. The next one is a 30 second drawing and uh, this I have to really um, look for the dynamic, the uh, energy and get everything down in 30 seconds, um, the whole thing down. Uh, so I made a lot of lines in the core because um, I'm really feeling out and a lot of the energy comes from the core. The next drawing is my own hand. So this one took a lot of time. Um, I use a light box and the first initial drawing was uh, very uh, dark and messy. Um, I had a lot of lines uh, to do the gesture to get the energy down. And then the second uh, tr uh, trace over would be putting in those objects like the box for the hand. The third one would be getting those details in like the knuckles and I left in the contour lines to show that I have a good understanding of the form. The next one is um, me holding the mirror. So just take a moment to look at that. And yeah, you, you want, really want to focus on the knuckles and the direction of the knuckles. So this one is the object drawing of a uh, blender. Um, I feel that it's a li little bit lacking because it uh, gets a little bit flat here. So I think I should have uh, made the lines a bit softer, but overall I'm quite satisfied. The next one is a spray bottle and I believe is Windex. So this because that is very important to mention, I guess. <laughs> so um, this rim here, um, I have those little details and um, it really counts when it comes to the portfolio. And um, make sure to sharpen those pencils for those uh, little details. And this is a layout that I did of my friend's kitchen. Uh, she kindly let me use uh, her kitchen to uh, draw for my portfolio. And um, I always look for those tangent lines like uh, there's two objects and one object is behind and one object is in front. So in order to make that uh, look li that way, I have to be mindful of the tangents and make sure those lines are not uh, aligned with each other because if they are then they look like one object and I added some things that weren't in the kitchen like the chicken and be sure to uh, reference from real life as much as possible so um, some of them are made up um, just because um, I just wanted to make this kitchen more interesting and this is the other corner of the kitchen and once again I referenced um, um, using images from Google, but most most of the time I, I need to um, reference from real life. So yeah, this is the other corner. And here I use this for my personal piece. Um, this is 30 seconds. This is about, um, I believe it's 30, uh, 20, 20 minutes. No, actually 15 minutes. This one is, so this is uh, 2B Conte, this one is Conte as well, um, this is 35 minutes. Uh, as you can see, I use a lot of alignment lines once again. And then uh, this one, last but not least, is uh, 2 minutes, 